long discover the amazing and spectacular things about science. Welcome to Science Class, where learning science makes us smart. For today's side target, we will infer that electricity can be used to produce magnets. Describe the relationship between electricity and magnetism. And investigate the number of coils and cells affect the strength of an electromagnet. There are lots of activities that are full of learning and fun. Would you like to come with me? Come on, let's go! Have you noticed how some materials, like electric fan moves, Yes, you're right. It is all because of electricity. But how does the blade of the electric fan move? It's because of attraction of magnet in the motor that cause shaft rotation and blade rotates. Today, we will learn the relationship of electricity and magnet, also known as electromagnet. What is electromagnetism? Electromagnetism is the study of the relationship of electricity to magnets. It means transforming electricity to create a magnetic force. While rubbing the plastic bottle with a piece of cloth, the electrons transfer from one material to another. That's stored in one material. That material produced electricity and caused some material attracted to the plastic bottle because of electrons. Just like a magnet that attract metals. Therefore, electricity and magnets are related to each other. Magnets produce magnetic field that attract metals. Electricity can be used to make a temporary magnet. Electricity and magnets are closely related. Magnet can produce electricity, while electricity can produce magnet. Do you know what is this? Correct! This is an electricity. Can electricity produce magnet? Let us find out! Materials needed are battery that supplies the electric current, nail, wire, and staple wire. First, wrap around the wire to the nail. The nail serves as a core. Then, connect both ends of wire to the battery. But be careful, sci fi kids! In connecting the wire to the battery, make sure you use a protective gloves because electricity produces heat energy that can be transferred to a conductor, and metal is a good conductor of heat and electricity. One example is the wire. You are now creating an electromagnet. Let us find out if electricity can be used to produce magnet. Then, let the current flow to the wire. And, try to attract the staple wire using electromagnet. It's scientific! 
the stateboard wire attracted to the electromagnet. Therefore, electricity can be used to produce magnet. An electromagnet is a device made temporarily magnet by flowing an electricity through a coil of wire wrapped around an iron nail. The iron nail acts as a magnet while electricity is flowing through the coil of wire. When the circuit is broken or when the electricity stops flowing through the coil of wires, the nail stops attracting metals. How strong the electromagnetism? Let us make more coil of wires to the nail and observe how many metals are attached to the electromagnet. It attracted more metals because more magnetic fields are produced. An electromagnet can produce stronger magnetic field. Depends by using more coils of wire. Each loop of wire adds more force to the electromagnet. How about the battery? If I use the smaller one, can it attract more metals? Why? It attracted a single piece of thumb tuck because of less electrons produced by the battery. Let's try these three batteries. Wow! More metals are attached to the electromagnet. It means that the number of power source or battery also affects the strength of electromagnet. Stronger magnetism produced when more electrons flowing in an electromagnet. Some of the appliances used at home and in school make use of electromagnets. Examples are electric fan, buzzer, doorbell, hair dryer, television, egg beater, telephone, and radio. Electromagnets are part of our daily living. We enjoy listening to the music, playing games, surfing the internet, watching television, and listening to radio. All of these are not possible without electromagnets attached to the speaker. Electromagnets are also used to a great extent in communication or in sending signals. Generators, transformers, and electric motors are also made of electromagnets. You did a great job, Sci-Fi Kids! I hope you enjoyed our learning activity for today. Once again, I am Teacher Edeline, always saying, Knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. Until next time, where learning science make us smart. Bye-bye!